Candy versus medicine. Can you tell the difference? If you can't, the chances are your kids can't either. And this could be the reason unintentional drug poisonings are on the rise among kids. Well, unfortunately, this is something that we hear about all the time because there are a lot of medications that also look like candy. According to a study in the Journal of Pediatrics, visits for pediatric pharmaceutical poisonings are up 30% between 2001 and 2008 alone. We have some gummy vitamins that look like gummy bears. We also have some generic Tylenol that looks just like Tic Tacs. We have Tums, looks just like a sweet tart. And this year, in Colorado, the number of kids being admitted to area hospitals for confusing edible marijuana products with candy or cookies has doubled over the last year. Experts say the problem might come from an effort to make medications palatable for kids. So it's so important to teach young children about the dangers of these medicines that look like candy and the difference between candy and medication and hopefully how to avoid the mix-ups. Make sure you mix it up well. That's why the University of Colorado Skag School of Pharmacy is trying to change accidental overdoses by educating our kids. Every year, more than 200 fourth graders descend upon the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus to discover what it's like to be a pharmacist. Hosted by second and third year pharmacy students and members of the Student National Pharmaceutical Association and Colorado Student Society of Health System Pharmacists, the fourth graders learn about the importance of accurate measurements, labeling, making meds through compounding, and that being a pharmacist isn't just about counting pills. The Pharmacist for a Day event involves math, chemistry, measurements, we mix compounds together. We also teach the children about human body, poisons, and most importantly that medicine should never be confused with candy. So the program that we have where our pharmacy students interact with young children is invaluable because it helps the pharmacy students learn how to teach complicated concepts to young children and if they're able to successfully do that then they're better able to successfully educate patients of any age. It's difficult to transition from classwork to really doing a job. This event allows us as students to go beyond the lectures and guidelines that we learn to actually adapt our knowledge of the science to various patient populations. That looks really good. I like Pharmacists for a Day because we get to see the students. They're really excited to be here. We have a great time and we also give them a lot of really valuable knowledge. A lot of these students are first generation immigrants to this country. Their parents only speak Spanish. and. Many times these patients end up being interpreters at medical appointments or at the pharmacy for their parents. And so in the process of this event, we can teach them the importance of the distinction between medicines and candy. Each child here graduates with a diploma, but more importantly, a lesson in staying safe.